many years ago in the mid-1800s. A man silently walked alone deep into the forest. Seemingly normal enough, if not a tad cliché. But our story takes a turn for the worse. It was believed that the man was Ted Walters, a town nobody, and a drunk who could never sober up. He, in a drunken stupor, hobbled into the town's neighboring forest and promptly set it ablaze for unknown reasons. The town did their best to stop the fire, but all was for naught. The odds weren't in their favor, and they couldn't contain the fire. They managed to somehow find Ted, as he was slowly being cooked alive by the fire that he had started. They dragged Ted's charred body from the forest as he twitched and convulsed at random. Ted only said, It's gone. It's gone. He died later that night from the severe burns. The town despised him and didn't care enough to give him a proper funeral. Instead, they picked up his seared body and threw him into a box and buried him at the back end of the local cemetery. The forest burned and burned for 21 days until nothing but a smoldering pile of ash and charred trees remained. On the 22nd day, the town was happy the fire stopped and was prepared to go out and check the damage and do whatever they could to fix their once thriving forest. But their good intentions were brought to a sudden halt when they saw a horrific sight in the local cemetery. Ted Walters was dug up and his coffin was torn open. Inside was the bloody whore left of Ted. He was gutted and his organs and entrails were spilled out. Some were thrown all about and some were shoved into his gaping mouth. Everyone assumed that someone had been enraged by Ted burning down the forest, but the people never would have guessed that anyone would be that mad. No one had any clue who was the culprit. Everyone had an alibi. The body was cleaned up and poured back into a new box, and they made sure to bury him deeper. After the accident, Everyone secluded themselves to their homes, and no one could muster up the courage to go out again. The next morning truly left the people of the small forestside town horrified. Every body in the cemetery was dug up, and every body was dismembered. Body parts of ancestors, grandparents, and friends all in a heaping pile of death. Almost no single body could be salvaged and nobody knew what to do. The most shocking of all this was the clear bite marks in some of the dead corpses. They were distinct bites, and obviously not human. The town rallied up and discussed what creature could have committed this atrocity and what to do about it. It was clear that something wasn't happy that Ted burned down its home. Ted somehow knew about this monster and was trying to rid the world of the beast. The town formed a mob and marched with their torches and axes into the forest. What happened next is still unknown. But what is clear is that the town was completely abandoned and still is. It was abandoned. Except for one resident.